My name is Claire Holden Rothman, and uh, I'm a writer. I'm a Montrealer by birth and grew up in kind of West End Montreal and uh, went to the local public schools um, and high schools, Cégep and uh, eventually McGill. We're at the Greenwood Centre here and this is in Hudson and they, they have a month-long uh, celebration of writers called Story Fest. I'm one of a number of artists who have been invited to talk about our work, to read our work and answer questions um, about it. This is really important to have readings around here to bring uh, artists out to their community to exchange with them. I took out a paring knife, a wedding stone and a box of pins in a tin that used to hold throat lozenges dusted with sugar. The blade of my knife was razor thin and nicked in several spots. It didn't look like much, but it was as good as any scalpel. This is my third book published, The Heart Specialist, but it's my first novel published. And uh, it's a historical work and it's set in Montreal and that was very important to me. The inspiration came from a real life woman called Dr. Maud Abbott, the inspiration for The Heart Specialist and she was one of the first women doctors in Montreal. My project here was to record um, basically the history of the real Maud Abbott, who was the inspiration for this book, the real Maud Abbott's career and educational struggle. But then to imagine all other parts of the life of a woman kind of growing up in Victorian times in Montreal and coming of age in um, the first decades of the 20th century. What I've written is not biographical fiction or fictionalized biography. It really does kind of take Maud Abbott's professional accomplishments and her educational accomplishments because she had to struggle really hard at a time where the schools were closed to her. She couldn't get into medical school. But I've taken off, you know, and really used my imagination in all the other aspects of her life, including her love life, which is very important to writers. <laughs> so the heart again shows up and, and, uh, and I took quite a few liberties with that. I pointed to a jar with the large heart at which I'd been peering all morning. It was an adult organ but such a strange, misshapen thing that it was a mystery how its owner could have survived infancy. It was a metaphor for me, I think of writers. Writers of fiction study hearts as well, and we don't study perfect hearts, we study deformed hearts. So right there and then there was a link with this woman. Um, of course she was studying the science of the heart, and for me it's more the art of the heart, the human heart. A lot of my uh, writing seems to be set in Montreal, a lot of my fiction, and a lot of my fiction does involve women. You know, we live in such fast-changing times, and the 20th century was a time where things changed so tremendously for women, so I, I think I'm very interested in that. I want to record that. A writer has to both live and write about living uh, and life. And uh, so I have to make sure that I'm living too. Um, so part of the process is kind of having fun and getting out there and being with people enough to see the life that's unfolding around me so that I can write about it. <laughs>